हॅलो वेलकम टू सी सॉफ्ट सपोर्ट आय म्हणून तालुकदार आय एम अ सपोर्ट स्टाफ ॲट सी सॉफ्ट टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नॅनो कॅट नॅनो कॅट इज अ प्रॉडक्ट दॅट डील्स विथ ऑल फॅक्टर एंटिटीज so let's go ahead and uh, have a look on nano cat so here it is this is the product this is called nano cat here you can see the versions of nano cat and the full name of the product is nano cat pro 8 pro is for professional so in nano cat there are two different flavor pro and plus plus is without 3d and parametricity and professional is the ultimate versions where you will get 3d tools and parametric tools so let's go ahead and uh, so I will go on this video I'll uh, try to give you a idea a brief idea about the whole product and uh, on some other videos we will discuss a specific topic in detail but on this video we will discuss only the gist of the entire nanocad software file formats nanocad supports dwg files it produces dwg it's dxf and it takes dwt to carry the user settings so this is very much same with other cad system and dwg support in nanocad if you compare with autodesk autocad nanocad will support latest versions of dwg files that you can open and you can update if i go to import these are the file formats that you can import into nanocad you can import dwg dxf cws that's a file formats coming from wise image and dwf and .plt so these are the file formats that you can import if i go to export so here same we can export dwg dxf file formats for other systems now i'm just moving uh, to the next tab where i have a sample files dwg sample files you can see this is a dwg sample files <coughs> the interface is very similar in left hand side i have properties and command i can access from the toolbar i have menu bar and i can type the command to execute so i have this dwg file with some architectural details in the file sometimes we have different properties of text uh, text objects walls and other things so sometimes we use resources from out of the cad applications so when we send that kind of save dwg file to any of our client they may miss some objects to display on their local cad system so they may generate some proxy objects in the file so it is mandatory that you are sending correct dwg file to your clients combining all the resources you had used in your file to handle these situations in nanocad we have a function called etransmit what it does etransmit is actually combine all the resources you 
had used to produce this file one single tab so that you can select all the items that had used in this file and say OK to produce a zip file. So now I have a zip file that I can save to anywhere on the local system. So I set the zip file and if I go to the zip file I have the folder open. So this is the zip file. If I double click on the zip file I can see the objects inside this zip file. So you can see the DWG file, one text file and the fonts and the SHX file that holds all the properties of that particular DWG file. So you are sending a bunch of supporting files along with the DWG files to your clients. So this is basically mean that you are sending all the resources that you had used one in a one specific DWG file. So in that way that particular client will never produce his proxy or miss any objects on their local system if they open that particular DWG file from that particular directory you had sent. Moving uh, further down in uh, NanoCAD we can discuss few things like we have some functions in NanoCAD that will allow you to retrieve DWG objects from a old corrupted drawing. If you have problem opening any DWG file you can audit and remove the noise or you can basically go to recover and take such files to remove noise and open that file and start working again. So if you have some files which is not working correctly or opening on other CAD system you can bring that type of CAD files into NanoCAD to remove the noise and to start working with that file again. So file recovery system in NanoCAD way much more smarter than other application. And at the same time if you have opened certain files and you need to audit the entire file to find the error you have on this file. So you can audit the file and you can say uh, yes I want to fix errors. So now if I go to the report so it telling me this file is having zero error and so it's all okay on this file. So if you have a file and if you audit the file they, they may give you some uh, errors and that you can fix using the NanoCAD file recovery system. So NanoCAD file recovery system is something that you can use for your corrupted drawings. You can also convert all entities to two-dimensional plane if you have certain objects, certain uh, model or big drawing and you are thinking that some objects may be on different plan. All you need to do to go to two-dimensional plan, select all the objects and press that convert to 2D two-dimensional uh, drawing. So it will convert all the objects on the same plane. So this is quite handy and uh, and one more thing about file sending, exchanging, converting uh, on this aspect. You can, you can use uh, a functions uh, for PDF as well. So in PDF functions, uh, I have an example of PDF that we generally use in our workshop. So this is one uh, PDF samples. If I open the PDF, basically this is a PDF. Th this was generated from some CAD applications, this PDF. So now if we need to work on this PDF using NanoCAD, basically you need to bring PDF you need to import the PDF from that directory so I have the PDF this one and once I click the PDF so NanoCAD 
does support multi-page PDF. If you have a multi-page PDF, all the PDF page will be op opened here and you need to select the pages you actually want to convert into CAD. You have options, you can choose the parameters, scale and uh, click OK, place it and give it a few seconds of time to convert the things. There you go. So we have the same PDF content but this the entire file is converted into CAD now. Remember there is no data loss. So you, you have all the objects now you can actually start working on these files uh, to update things or remove objects or add objects. So this is how the PDF input function works. You have uh, internal plot functions. You have internal uh, PDF plotter functions that you can use to create PDF from NanoCAD. Okay, so let's uh, go further down. I'll use this window basically uh, to show you the functions to create geometrical primitives. So this is the list of geometrical primitives uh, you can create in NanoCAD. Basically, it's a whole complete list um, of, of you know geometrical uh, objects creation tools that you can use to create a part and from there to create a assembly. So you have all the geometrical uh, functions. You the, the way we use uh, functions in NanoCAD it's uh, very straightforward and uh, the user who has experience on any CAD applications, they will find very easy to use NanoCAD uh, NanoCAD in, in their drawing department. So basically, uh, it works the same. You can actually take line functions from this and start drawing lines. Uh, you, you can take functions, the same functions from the toolbar and you can start draw line you can press l enter so you can draw the same thing and and the command line works the same if i take command line l and i want this line should start draw from 0 comma 0 that's the coordinate starting point and it should go somewhere 1000 1000 comma 1500 so the line should be here somewhere so this is the line I draw so if I can use identify the coordinate ID enter so I can see yes it's uh, X and Y the value is showing Y is uh, 1500 and ID the coordinate should 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 be 0 comma 0 yeah that's correct 0 comma 0 so it works the same so this is true for all the geometrical primitive creation tools <clears throat> so you can try yourself I'm sure you're gonna have fun with all of this now let's let me show you few more things on this uh, draw I have you know in, in NanoCAD we have a uh, great functions that we use that's table table is a functions most of the cat tools these functions are available nowadays obviously but in NanoCAD this table function is way way much smarter than any of the CAD applications. Why is that? You you have options. You can either create tables like this. You can create table graphically. You can write the number of rows, rows and columns on this and create the tables like this. So this is your table. The point is that when you double click on the table, some dialog box will open. This is basically a Excel sheet, 
is a spreadsheet. You can consider this the entire dialog box as a spreadsheet. You can calculate, you can increase row, column, you can put data. So it will work. I'll discuss uh, in detail uh, of NanoCAD table on other video. <clears throat> so I, I just uh, give some data on it. Double click and I want things should be moved to Excel now. So it will push all the data to Excel. The, the interesting thing is that if you send this data to someone in your higher authority to check the document, they may need to update something in the Excel, after, you know, when they check. So once they send the updated Excels to you, you can make a link between a drawing and the Excel document. So you don't really need to type anything. You can you can directly. So uh, they have all the data in the Excel. So I can I may need to increase the text height to some extent. Set so ten. So the same thing in Excel now. So all you need to do just take the Excel from uh, drawing. I mean from drawing to Excel and send to the department. Once they check and update that that you can use as an input of that particular drawing. For example, I have a files, Excel files with this uh, bill of materials and I want these informations to be incorporated with the drawing. So all I need to do just go to draw table and there's options import from Excel click OK and there you go so now once I place the data and uh, now you are actually in sync between this Excel and uh, the drawing table so if you double click and if you update the Excel and then you press this button so once you press this button so all the update will come automatically from the Excel into this table. The table will get update automatically if you have update anything, right? So this is quite useful if you are uh, dealing with uh, BOQ or any other data tables. So that will be way useful in NanoCAD. So, okay, moving uh, further to the dimension so now if we have a part or assembly uh, now we need to dimension all of the objects we can use each of the objects uh, di ob objects to dimension using all of these functions these are all uh, very similar if I go to dimensions so the dimension dialog box is also very similar to other CAD system so you may have used this kind of uh, environment before so just if I double click uh, I just click on the modify and now I have a window where I can update the scale and text and everything so this is okay now I'm going to create a dimensions using I have our tools that I can use and I'm sure that you had used each of the items each of the annotating tools but here I would like to show you auto dimension this is something special in NanoCAD. If you choose auto dimensions, you, you you no need to think about anything else because this is one dimension tools will allow you to do any kind of uh, adjustment uh, to produce to create a dimensions. So now I'm just moving the cursor on a circle. The same functions will give me the diameter and uh, it gives me align dimensions like this and I did not change the tool this is a uh, horizontal dimension this is a vertical dimension the same functions will give you angular dimension so I just need to adjust that's it so this is the angle the best part of this function is that if I have a combinations of objects and I try to use the same functions all the dimensions will come in one shot if I go this way that way 
so the dimensions will come automatically so this is quite handy this is a small adjustment you, you can do in your design or drafting and you can uh, save time all of the users can save time these are all handy tools we have in uh, nanocad right going further to modify modify uh, segments where we will have uh, some assembly or parts and we need to update certain uh, objects then we can use the modifying tools uh, trust me all of the smart tools we have these are very smart well you know ju just have a look on uh, one simple tools that we have a uh, we have two lines like this probably and we need to make a fillet on that if we press F enter so instead of command line we have a box now and we can set the type of uh, fillet we need we can say that we need five units and so things are getting handled from right so this is the fillet this this portions are coming because I choose that way I want fillet to be stay this way so I can this I can choose this and say fillet so the extended parts part will de you know removed so this, these are all uh, smart tools we have all our dialog uh, dialog box based so whenever you try to modify certain things it will be uh, dialog box and you will be able to choose different options from us uh, for us for a specific task so this is quite handy for any users now we have a uh, uh, 3d tools also you can create I will definitely come with a complete video that will just where we, we we I will describe how actually we create 3d models and uh, in nanocad and what are the modifying tools we have but trust me in nanocad we have uh, 3d tools that no other general CAD application uh, can provide because in nanocad we have something less than what some uh, SolidWorks or Inventor does but obviously what we have in NanoCAD that's are always more than what we have you know in uh, AutoCAD and other CAD applications why is that uh, if we if we take example of a small uh, plans of any shape because NanoCAD doesn't care actually any any type of shape say I have this uh, particular shape object say so uh, if I need to make a 3d model if I need to make a of any objects or anything I just need to make a shape and uh, just extrude that and we can create a lot of things automated things from there this is still conceptual 3d but uh, this is more than what we have on some uh, you know popular CAD applications nowadays so let me <coughs> make uh, let me draw one more uh, shape maybe this is or I can take uh, a curvature section then line again so maybe this is my object shape and I want to extrude uh, the objects so I'll go to 3d and extrude so I have a single dialog box where I can find cut subtract union all things uh, you know one single dialog box so I need to select the face of the objects that's it so I want it, it should be it is to 6000 somewhere maybe 10 so <clears throat> now if I need to go to minus distance that I can select this plus this both ways this so now I have the objects right so I can I can click this to view the objects 
in shape mode so I, I can create uh, the 3d models uh, using this tools and uh, we can create different views like we can create all you need to do just uh, select projected views select the objects and you can see it, it's giving me all the views so depending upon the site you know the the viewing side it will create the viewing objects automatically so this is 3d in uh, nanocad i'll come up with a different uh, video where i will show all uh, the 3d functions of nanocad in detail okay let's uh, move to some other tools I'll draw some uh, circles on there to show you the constraints we have in uh, NanoCAD. In NanoCAD, we have uh, constraints. That's parametricity. If you are drawing some uh, parts and putting those parts into assembly, and if you make some relations between uh, one or more objects, it will be much easier for you when you update certain portions of that drawing so once you try to update certain portions that will reflect to the other part of that particular assembly so this is quite useful for any of the drawing or uh, design companies so let's uh, use uh, there's two different type of constraints one is uh, geometrical constraints and other is dimensional constraints so if i use one geometrical constraints and telling the objects that center of this two circle are always will be on same point so no matter what if i drag this circle somewhere else the bigger circle will follow so it's only the insertion points i have no problem if i can change the color or i decrease the radius somewhere and but the only thing is that if I move any of the objects the other will follow so these are some uh, parametric and dimensional constraints that we can use now in nanocad we have functions for uh, images these are not as uh, complete set of objects for raster images as we have in wise image but these are few functions that will always help a uh, CAD user even with the image uh, quality improvements or stitching to different images or maybe merging some vector into raster. So let's talk about uh, merging the raster, the vector uh, drawings to raster or removing some raster into nanocad let's open a raster image so I, I need to do open i can take any of the examples so this is uh, one raster image i have now just uh, consider that I, I need to delete this plot this is in raster basically this is the raster image this is the raster image so in other cat system I only can view but in nano cat basically you can go to this and you can say rich so you can actually delete the whole raster rectangles like this and now you can say draw a layer and you need to draw something like this on this plot I can increase the width to some extent say to this right and now you select this you need to march these things 
I mean, all the changes you will you will you will perform on this image. After that, you need to rasterize. So once you click rasterize, this is now raster. So this circle is a part of this uh, raster image now, and the rectangle is removed. Right. So this is quite useful. And there is other other functions, other very useful functions like if you have uh, more than uh, you know two three part of uh, scan drawing, you can copy or you can bring all of the raster images into one workspace and align them and use these functions in. Uh, NanoCAD called new image from selections. It will give you uh, options to choose a paper size. If you don't know, just press OK because it it will take some time, and it will uh, match the three different raster image into one. So now you have one single image, right? So this is quite useful. Uh, uh, you know the raster functions in uh, NanoCAD. Uh, going further is uh, point clouds. Point clouds is something you take a picture using 3D camera. 3D camera will always collect different points at different elevations. So when you bring all the points into one, uh, you know, on the basis of one particular point, it will form. Uh, 3D objects, not the not not the 3D objects from where we get the volume. It's only the visibility of that particular uh, point uh, gathering will be shown as a 3D model. So in NanoCAD we have full support of point clouds. You you basically you cannot. Uh, you know, convert those point clouds into 3D model or get some other informations uh, about the model into NanoCAD, but you can always view and you can get a concept from uh, those point clouds data. So, if you have a point clouds and you want to view and get some idea or study the points, then NanoCAD is fine. But if you need to create a model from uh, NanoCAD, uh, I mean from the point clouds, then you should try NanoCAD 3D Scan. NanoCAD 3D Scan is a big application and it will help you to create model from uh, point clouds. So that's a different application, so we will probably discuss on a other video, but here in NanoCAD you can import such point cloud data. I have few of the files, point cloud files that I can bring in. I can go to uh, sorry. I should go to uh, this and uh, I have uh, the point clouds here, samples. I can take any of the examples. Uh, I can take uh, PTX. For examples, these these files are quite heavy. This is almost uh, GB or even more. So it, it will take some time to generate the preview. There you go. So now it's telling me that the altitude of the points, maximum and minimum altitudes, and uh, some other informations. Now if I click OK. It, the points are getting placed into the NanoCAD uh, workspace to form the model. So now here you can see the model of that particular um, establishment. Y you have options to change the color according to elevation. So I change it. Now you have uh, you have idea what exactly these objects are. So if you zoom further, you can see these are some uh, plant piping uh, process piping system. So now you can see these are some uh, space available. You have 
these are the pipelines but you will not get the dimensions in NanoCAD but you can actually visualize the whole thing but if you zoom further these are only points at different elevations right so this this image were generated from 3d cameras right so you can use uh, NanoCAD as a point cloud viewer so you can get reference and uh, you know plan accordingly so <coughs> there's a support of uh, point cloud data in NanoCAD I will discuss one more point uh, in NanoCAD because this is quite heavy files uh, this is from one of our uh, customers they're using NanoCAD this is quite heavy file almost 50 megabytes uh, because we, we uh, you know in NanoCAD we have seen that people are working with heavy files and uh, they are uh, using different uh, templates and uh, scales and produce a number of layouts to take printouts and you know drawing gets heavier so this this movements they always have issue with this pen uh, in other CAD system but in NanoCAD this still the, you know the movement is quite good so the entire applications will uh, take less than 500 megabytes space but the applications is uh, is very good uh, to work with the heavy files so if you are working with heavy files then i think nanocad can give you some phenomenal experience over other cad applications right and uh, these are if you are having some issues you can always uh, go for the help index and uh, video subsystem performance check is something that if if nanocad is not performing well for any reason you should go to uh, this sub system performance check it will check your system and will suggest you some settings and you should apply and go ahead with those uh, settings so that will always increase the speed of your design process so uh, these are few other things that you can uh, check out so <coughs> this is uh, this is all uh, for now from nanocad um, you know these are all um, you know starting from the dwg and the drawing tools modifications and the dimension tools 3d models and parametricity raster images and point clouds these are all um, quite smart in nanocad and nanocad is you know keeping the mind you know keeping things in mind that user need to use only uh, the things is matter to them so nanocad is is fully designed based on that keeping in mind the users you know we, we this is very compact so the things are there only people need and they use in general practice so this is very compact and straightforward and yet uh, powerful CAD applications for any designer right if you if you have um, any questions or if you want to discuss a point or if you want to if you want us to make a video descriptions or give you some tutorial or something on some specific topic so just just let us know you can comment uh, based on that we'll make a video or we'll try to help you directly so thank you very much uh, for your time hope this will help thank you very much